For those of you who are taking discourse analysis, I wanted to show you a very quick and easy way that you can bring in audio or video and automatically transcribe those audios within Microsoft Word. So I have here on my screen Microsoft Word, a blank document that I want to show and show as a demonstration. Notice that I'm in Microsoft or Word Online, that I'm not using the the app. Uh, what I'm going to talk about here today actually will not work within Microsoft Word. This is one of the features that's only available to Word Online. Let's say that we have an audio, and I think one of the easiest ways to bring in audio is to simply record from your cell phone an audio and then share it to OneDrive. Now, if you have the OneDrive app installed on your cell phone, then you simply should be able to share an audio or video, share it to a folder in OneDrive, and uh, just make sure you're using the your university account, and that will allow you to access your files, okay, online. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. As you are aware of, you can access OneDrive within your browser. Or if you have the OneDrive installed on your PC, on your desktop computer, you should be able to access OneDrive from Explorer or from your file manager. So regardless of how you access OneDrive, whether it's through an app installed on your computer or whether you inst or you access it through your browser, all right, the process will be the same. What we want to do is bring in a file, and for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm actually going to use a different service, but the, the concept is the same. I'm using pCloud. It's exactly like OneDrive in that you can access your files uh, in the cloud. I'm going to go to the audio file in this case. It's called My Recording 6. Now, here's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go to our blank document. Make sure you're at the Home tab at the very top. And then along the tab here towards the right, where it says Dictate, we're going to click the down arrow, Transcribe. Uh, I'm just going to click New Transcription. Right? When you go in the first time, you're going to have two options. I think it says one is to upload an audio, which is the option you want to take or select. And then the other one, I, I honestly can't remember now what it said, but you're going to need to select the button that says Upload Audio. All right, so yes, I'm going to delete that. Okay, yeah, here it is right here. Start recording. So yeah, you can start recording yourself, and you can transcribe something in real time just by recording your voice. But what I want to show you today is to up how to upload an audio. So this will automatically bring in the audio file. It'll take minute or two, and it will transcribe the audio. We'll give it a second. All right, that took about two minutes. Uh, this was a very short uh, video or audio. But notice this is a WAV file. I think it works on MP3 files as well. But notice I have my transcription here, and I can go back and play. Hello, and welcome, welcome to, to In the, the classroom. classroom. And I can play the audio, right? Educational podcast. And this is the transcription. And down here, I have different options for bringing that transcription out into my document. And there I have it. Now, it's not going to be perfect. It'll, it should be close depending on the quality of the audio, depending on uh, how the person is uh, speaking. But this will get you close, I think. This is a good option for you. And, and especially when there's a dialogue and there's a back and forth or a transaction, or an exchange going back and forth, uh, this will be very helpful because it not only identifies the speaker, but it also provides a timestamp. Now, let me show you one other example. Let's say I want to bring in new transcription. I click OK, upload audio. Now, in this case, I want to bring in uh, the audio from a video. So I'm going to select an MP4 file. This is a video file. And again, we'll give it a second. All right, so now you see here we have a four-minute uh, video. 
But for those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking, we're going to... All right, so again, it's just going to bring in the audio. All this is a video file, but I have my transcription here below. And there's some different options here I'm not going to go into at this point, but you could you can see where you can modify and manipulate some of this information before you bring it into your document. But I'm going to go ahead and just bring it in as is. And you see here, timestamps, back and forth. Um, in this case, there's only one speaker. But you can see here a transcription of the, in this case, a video. So... There are other options, but this might be helpful for you if you're uh, trying to bring in some, let's say, a recording of a class, and you, whether it's a video or an audio, bring it in. As long as it's, an, as long as it's a, a uh, MP3, MP4, WAV files for audio work as well. I'm not sure to the extent that Word will accept different audio files. You'll just have to experiment and see. It might be necessary to convert certain file types if necessary, but I think this is one option for you for bringing in audio and transcribing it as I think this will be useful in discourse analysis where we're going to be taking uh, examples of not only written text that we find online or in articles, but also uh, spoken text that we get from real authentic uh, experiences. As we've talked about before, YouTube also has uh, an easy way to transcribe. Many of the videos that are uploaded to, to YouTube will uh, also, they, are, they also transcribe those videos automatically. All right, so between YouTube, if you find videos and uh, this feature in Microsoft Word, hopefully this will help you uh, find some options when it comes to transcribing spoken text.